Masquera say Mureze Mbabge, welcome to our channels and confessions and deep secrets. Kanakari kikutani kako kwa yapa neno channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Kano chungwa karo ka subscriber, don't forget to comment and share this video. Nasi Mureze Mbabge, takui girai, nyaya budi tukwa, it is Mbabge Democratic Institute. Yoya Buddha, ishipa wani kute the rulings ano PF party, hiru kufesa the lowest moment yayo. Uh, since my elections are going to come in 2008, to maintain our factions, no conflicts, Zakari, no doubts, the president of Masom Nangagwa is going to step down in 2008, and there is a confusion in uh, Zimbabwe, no uh, growing divisions, but there is no PF. Uh, in public, but she is going to leave uh, the office at the end of his second term in 2028. Panama raising concerns are repo from critics and political observers uh, about uh, my efforts by my loyalist, President Masum Nangagwa, could I extend his presidency to 2030. She is a divisions in uh, Zimbabwe. Bani two ma factions within Zano PF. One push up for the extension the president must be Nangago who eh, then the other one Iruku Kuruzira Mnangago one quite respect at the constitutional term limit from the corner. Eh, more veterans are Buddha a story you watched President Maso Mnangagwa eh, should uh, step down after his second and final term that carried the military. Iruku Buddha is all the same thing. Then my provincial chairperson, the women's and the youth league are saying the president should uh, continue. Mabasa Aro, Sika 2030. As no are saying uh, the president is going to step down in 2030. As recently, Owen, Nure, Ashtora Ie, Achiti, they are going to make sure the president, Vata Oro, Nabo, Katonga, Sika 2030. So, uh, the ZDI report, Kabuda, Story Chita, Nomira Mushi, Zano PF, Manama growing divisions, Nebudakuma factions, Mavi Riwawa, uh, image, uh, the ZDI, Kabuda Story, uh, through a report, and the title, uh, Entering the Foggy Zone, Transition and Succession. Uh, here I shed a light on my escalating factional tensions, uh, image within Zano PF. And from the Vice President Constantine Wichwenga, Waka Buddha, Wachitawara, eh, against who glorify my individual leaders, Wachitawara Ivo, Wachiti, uh, my personal ambitions, Awana Kwane Nde Sanyika, which emphasize the need to prioritize uh, the national values. Uh, my remarks are, Akone Kwa is an indirect challenge to Munangagwa's leadership. Waka Buddha Zakari, Achi Rivila, a deeper fractures within the Zano PF party. So the ZDI Yaka Buddha is a comparison uh, to position to, vul to a vulnerable position in Zano PF during the 2008 elections, uh, a period you are getting mad in internal disunity in Zano PF. Zano PF has some significant electoral challenges. The Funga Rakari by my succession issues during 2008. Uh, Zimbabwe. So Zurgunzi, uh, Zano PF is now vulnerable and at its lowest point, especially after my elections at 2023, I uh, criticized one. EU, the EU, they were manipulated by Zimbabwe. Uh, despite my internal struggles, uh, Zano PF would try to maintain a control. Uh, through separation in opposition party in the Funga Takaona and Nelson Chamisa, Haji Sapris, Mare Zimbabwe, Tangona, Sengezo Shabangwash, Buddha, Haji, Kwadza, Ma MPs, Zano PA, Citizens Coalition for Change, Mare Zimbabwe. So this issue of Abuditswa, near the news works, which are you are cheating. The Zimbabwe Democracy Institution, ZDI, has warned that the ruling Zano PF party is facing its most precarious moment since the 2008 general elections due to internal factional conflicts and doubts about President Emerson Munangagwa's plans to step down in 2028. While Munangagwa has publicly committed to leaving office at the end of his second term in 2028, concerns arise arising 
among critics and political observers about efforts from some of his loyalists to, ex loyalists to extend his presidency to 2030. This division has sparked two primary factions within Sanopiev, one pushing for the extension of Munangagwa's rule and another urging him to respect the constitutional term limit. A report from ZDI titled Entering the Foggy Zone, Transition and Succession sheds light on this escalating factional tension within Zanopia. Vice President Konstantin Ochiwenga has spoken out against the glorification of individual leaders, emphasizing the need to prioritize national values over personal ambitions. His remarks are seen as an indirect challenge to Munangagwa's leadership, revealing deeper fractures within the party. The ZDI report, the ZDI report draws comparisons to ZANU-PF's vulnerable position during the 2008 elections, a period marked by internal disunity and significant electoral challenges. Elite disunity over succession issues suggest that ZANU-PF is at its most precarious since 2008, especially after 2023 elections, which were widely criticized by SADC, the AU, and the EU for manipulation. The report says, drawing on, his, on historical analysis of authoritarian regimes, ZDI highlights that internal splits between hardliners and reformers often play a key role in political transitions. The, the report suggests that Zimbabwe's current political climate, with ZANU-PF fragmented, fragmented, ZANU fragmented over Mnangagwa's succession, could be laying the groundwork for potential democratic shifts. Despite these internal struggles, ZANU-PF continues to maintain control through suppression of opposition parties. The, reports, the report points to the destruction of the Citizens' Coalition for Change and the controversial recalls of opposition MPs as part of ZANU-PF strategy to weaken credible threats to its rule. Sengezo Shawangu, who has declared himself CCC Secretary General, has been instrumental in further fracturing the opposition the report, not, the report notes. The ZDI report, the ZDI report also emphasizes the significant role the military continues to play in shaping Zimbabwe's political transition. The military has historically been a pivotal force in Zimbabwe's political transition, and it remains a key player in determining Mnangagwa's successor. The report has said, as Zimbabwe moves closer to the end of Mnangagwa's presidency. The growing factionalism within ZANU-PF will likely have a critical impact on the party's future and the broader political landscape of the country. section.